Who's got more natural ability then, Carl Frampton or Scott Frampton. Boyd? For me, Frampton. For you, Frampton, Darren, as well? For me, Frampton, yeah. more Spencer? Natural. 100%. Eddie? More natural skill. Yeah, I think probably more natural skill. Yeah. Anton? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we, listen, with the pedigree that Carl's got, um, certainly the better boxing skills, but just say going off the question, he <laughs> <laughs> could argue he's got the natural, better natural ability. Johnny, Johnny, yeah. I do. I think Carl Fanton has a uh, uh, more natural ability, but it's not. It won't be enough if he doesn't get his game plan right. Tony Nelson on Twitter has asked, uh, which undercard fight guys are you most looking forward to? <laughs> Gavin and Donald, obviously, with, uh, with Dave. Just a line about that fight, it's a dangerous one for him. Oh, 100%. It's, um, it's another big step up for him, but the, the guy that we're fighting, is, he is a big puncher. He's a fast starter, um, but my worry is that Gavin's notoriously a slow starter. James is a little bit of a slow starter as well. But Gavin usually takes you know, a good three rounds and he can't afford to do that. <laughs> because if he gets in the first three rounds, he's going to know about it. So he's got to be um, very clever early doors, um, not take much punishment and, and then come on. But this guy is, you know, he, he, he can fight. Unless he's preparing for Josh Warrington, of course, this guy. Yeah, what's that about? Um, Gavin McDonald in, in, in a big fight. Eddie, you put the cards <laughs> together. What's the one that stands out for you? Two, two fights particularly is uh, the British light and Jose Burton and Miles Shinquin. Um, Jose Burton's been knocking around, or well, even though he's still a young man out of the Gallagher's gym and Quala knows him very well. He's a huge light heavyweight. I'm not sure how they make 12 damn seven to be honest with you. Um, has shown a load of ability over the years, but now he has a real step up and he's never really fought anyone of any note. And then you've got Miles Shinquin who you know, Spencer knows well from around his way. Very talented fighter, fighting family as well. Most of them have, yeah. Shinkwins have, have been in the ring. I just think it's an intriguing match. Two young fighters in a fight they really can't afford to lose if they want to get to the places where they believe they'll get to. And the other one is Isaac Lowe against Marco McCulloch. You know, it's a classic uh, Belfast, Manchester matchup as well. A Commonwealth featherweight title. Marco McCulloch looks like a real prospect and they got knocked out. In, in what should have been an easy fight abroad. And Isaac Lowe, who's uh, Tyson Fury's cousin, he'll be there cheering him on. Um, he's very lively and very exciting to watch. And looking forward to seeing Ryan Burnett as well. Huge fight for him in front of 20,000, you know, probably 10,000 from Northern Ireland. And it's going to be a huge night for him. I was